How do large language models reshape traditional MLOps? First of all, traditional machine learning involves frequent model retraining. With LLMs, this becomes unfeasible. So we might switch to a lighter approach like, for example, model fine-tuning, pipeline tuning, or prompt engineering. And these modifications won't necessarily produce new models, but they will yield either new code or fine-tuned models, something that our existing infrastructure can handle. Due to this fine-tuning and prompt engineering, human user feedback is crucial, right? It's a vital data source during the development from dev to production. And with LLMs, traditional monitoring might need to be boosted by a continuous human feedback loop because you cannot really automate it fully compared to traditional MLOps. Also, QA based on human feedback could become more complex and human evaluation might be more frequent during this continuous deployment. Now, regarding production tooling, the presence of large language models might push us from CPUs to GPUs. And our data layer might need to incorporate new objects like, for example, vector databases. So you're going to need to take this into consideration because you're going to end up having higher running costs. And on top of this, you're going to get higher latency and performance trade-offs, especially when you're comparing your fine-tuned model with a pricey third-party API. But overall, it's not that complicated because if you come from an environment that is rich in deep learning, for example, let's say computer vision or NLP, these transformations will be less overwhelming. While some elements might change, many remain the same. For example, we have the same dev and prod separation, we have the pipelines, we have the data architecture, and we have the modular infrastructure that are all the same. 